And what is up, you filthy animals? We're back for another episode. Um, here we go. Tonight, uh, a couple people are asking me to cover some stuff about going over demon hunter gear. Um, some things that they wanted to know about it, so I thought I'd cover over that. Um, also, for those of you who are wondering, we do have a system update coming up. Sneak peek. Here we go. We have the Ultimate Alliance campaign, new castle levels, T-12s, new guards, vengeance alert, uh, mercenary airship, deals of the day update, uh, auction house will be op optimized, uh, troops sent towards alliance buildings optimized, and spirit mines will be optimized. So... There's a few things to be looking forward to there. Tomorrow I'm going to be doing uh, a full video about the update. I got some information about what's going to be happening there. But I can cover this right now. I scanned for a number. Okay. Uh, you have the Ultimate Alliance campaigns, which that's going to be something that we're going to be have another aspect to PvP. Oh. So, all your player versus player stuff, we're going to have a new update. Kingdom versus Kingdom is going to be one weekend, and then Ultimate Alliance campaign is going to be the next weekend. So, I'll cover that in more depth tomorrow. New deals of the day, that's something I'm going to have to uh, talk about with the Demon Hunter gear as well. There's going to be some stuff that I think will be added. Um, the packs between Guns of Glory and KOA are very similar, so when they update something, then we say that we're going to get the update. Usually, it means that we're going to get some same stuff so so for demon hunter gear um you get it um through the alliance store right here or uh you can get sealed demon hunter design equipment frags here you need a hundred of them so it cost oh that's 900 let's just buy a thousand of them guys i'm not even messing with this right now So it costs 50,000 alliance points to get your demon hunter gear. Another way you can get it is here in your spirit mines. You can come in here and you can get your fragments here as well. You can only buy five a day here. So you need to be able to get this a day. So 103,000 for five frags. So that's another way of doing it. So those are ways of uh, getting some demon hunter scrolls. If you're going to be spending money... You obviously can come into here and buy these retribution packs. Um, and you'll get a good amount of demon hunter scrolls through that. You don't even need to buy anything. You just get these demon hunter scrolls and your retribution equipment designs. So you also get all of these things for crafting your demon hunter gear as well as the rare materials chest. Rare materials chest. Well, talking's not going to be happening today. So, uh, special. Like I said, when you do this, you do get um, Demon Hunter Scrolls from that. So, you can get any of these designs. And you can decide which design you get. Um, so, once you do get a, uh, one of your scrolls made by getting your fragments, and you get a hundred of them, you can make these designs. So... Look into that. Um, if you do buy these packs, you will get these raw materials. And you need a hundred of them to create. But if you do... I don't have a chest right now of them. But if you do, you can pick which one you need. So there's a whole bunch of them that you can need. So for... Like this. I'm going to need talons and scales. And other ones you need meteorites. So you get you get to decide what you get to make. It's not random. So those are things you're gonna need, <clears throat> and you will get all the steel and all that stuff if you buy the um, retribution packs. And also, like I said, with these deal of the days getting updated, if it's like KOA's update for their deals of the day on Sunday when you come into here, which it's not Sunday, so I can't show you guys. But if you buy all thirty-five dollars worth of these daily deals, you will get one hundred frags. So for one hundred frags, you get one one rare material. So that'll be something that you guys can do for those that are spending just a little bit. You can speed up the process of getting your demon gear and getting all your frags for thirty-five dollars versus however much it is for for uh 
buying it through the retribution packs. Um, so once you get your demon hunter gear, let's, I haven't got all of mine yet, but you can upgrade it. So here this cap is a plus one, um, the crossbow is a plus two, and what this does is it gives you more buffs on your attack stuff. So these started off with just plain numbers, but now, so 30 and 70 and 25, I believe, 30, so on and so forth. So the more you upgrade them, you get better stats out of it. And you come here to enhance it. And to enhance your stuff, you need these craftsman tools. And you need steel. And each time you enhance something, it's going to cost more steel. So you come to the hat. And then... Oh, and then uh, you can go to the crossbow, which is a lot more. So I think it's like 3,500. Yeah. 35,000, my mistake. And so to get these craftsman tools, um, you can get them here in your spirit mine every day. And this is obviously something I'm working on. You can get these, I think you can get like 40 of them a day, 30 of them a day, something like that. Maybe it's 50. Anyway, you can get these craftsman tools here in the spirit mines daily. And you can also get them here in your shooting gallery. Reward history. You can get them here. So, which obviously that's what I'm going for right now. So, you can get these craftsman tools and steel that you need to upgrade and enhance your demon gear. So, those are a few things that I'd recommend doing to get your demon, he demon gear up. Uh, I think right now it's level 3 demon gear, but it'll go up to level 5, like the Death Seeker and KOA. Um, a lot of people were asking me about how to do the spirit mines as well. So we'll dive right into that. Um, you go through here and you get these benefits. So you go through here. Obviously I'm going up into higher levels of the floor. So I wait just a little bit to get some of these benefits. So I get higher that farther you go down, the more these go up. So right now it's, First one's 5, next one's 10, next one's 15, so on and so forth. So, I go through and I upgrade my army stats because those are things that um, do have a good amount of bonuses that will help you take mines over better. And so if I go and look at this, you guys can see that my health's the lowest, then my attack's the highest, defense is the middle. So... I kind of even them out. And so first one I'll do I'll do uh, my troop attack. And then in the next floor Oh, I hit the wrong button again. The next floor I will do my defense. And then the next floor after that I will do my health. Just to kind of even them out. And then after that uh, I'd recommend going and looking at your stats over here. So step out again. And just find your weakest points. And kind of upgrade those as you go. So obviously I put some into my infantry attack. Um, I could put some into my negatives. Like my distance damage received. Uh, Calibre attacks another low one. Lower one I should say. Um, so I just go through here and I make sure that these are up higher when I go to attack people down in the mines. So come back here. So obviously the next one I'm going to do is my infantry attack. Hit this guy. Infantry attack. Confirm. And then also something to keep in mind as you're going through here, you want to do this uh, restore march capacity by 20%. So I usually do that on the closer to the last ones that I do. Just so that way, uh, oh, I can't buy that one right now. I'm going to leave that. So back up to 100%. Up here in the corner, I can't point, but up here in the corner by your picture, right there it says uh, the number of percentage that you're at. So, and this is where I stop. 
I'm just going to do that one more time. Whatever. I messed that up a little bit probably, but so I come over here. And you're looking for these guys that you think that you can beat. That guy's 73 million power. Um, there's no way to scout to kind of see what kind of stats they have. So you kind of have to go by the fly. Obviously, these guys that got the relics and stuff like that, um, they're probably going to have higher stats. And so to explain, I stopped at level 8 just for the fact of this is, there's a lot of C30s down here. So the farther down you go, the harder it's going to get, the, hard, the higher level guys they're going to be. So this is kind of where I have to go to uh, to uh, be able to stay in and maintain keeping resources, which I've realized that there's a lot of guys here that um, still can beat me, but because a lot of people do the same thing I do. So, um, we'll drop these down a little bit. Do that, do that, do that, do that. And yes, I am messing with the formations that I showed you guys. I try to send a little higher tiers here. Um, I found that it helped with some of these bigger guys. So, it's something that I do now. I'll do 40,000. If I can move my button correctly. Bump that up. Bump this down just a little more. Oh. Do some more cavalry. All right. Oh, that's lovely. Attack that guy, anyways. Whatever. Oh. So then you have a ten-minute uh, troop recovery time, which I don't know if this is a glitch or not, but. I'm able to attack these guys. Um, if I attack a different mine, then I can take them out. So, so like I said, when you do... Th oh, what is going on with my... Oh, that might be why I was losing. My troop attack and defense are down. I don't know why. It might be... Because... My little uh, accolade fell off. Oh, yep, that's why, because I don't have my accolade. I use this one right here um, all, pretty much all the time. Obviously, between KVKs, it falls out, but before KVK starts, I, I usually get this one to get 10% more on all of that stuff. I was a little scared there for a second, but that's kind of how I do the spirit mines, so keep that in mind. So, just so you guys know. Um... And obviously, if you can't get the Demon Hunter equipment, and you want to go for Duelist or something like that, uh, you can come in here, and this shows all I, am I blind? No, I clicked on the wrong one. Craft weapons. So you can come in here, and you can find these things. I have the Dominance Pistol. Um... Porthos Axe, all of this stuff. You guys can get this stuff. Um, this stuff you can get for free. I'm not sure exactly how to get the Dominance Pistol. I'm going to have to look into that, let you guys know. But you can get that. Um, I need to get me one of those. That's cool. And then obviously if you're a billionaire, then you can come in here and you can get this. But as you can see, it is very expensive to craft. Very expensive. So... If you, if you think that you're going to be able to do a retribution, um, unless you have a lot of money, I wouldn't recommend going for it. So, just food for thought of things you guys can do to get your Demon Hunter gear faster. Um, like I said, I'm pretty sure that the daily deal packs are going to update so you can get one rare fragment a week. Now, every Sunday. And then, then tomorrow, I will be going through and I will be covering all of this to the best of my ability for what I know. Um, I have some experience in... Kingdoms of Out, Kingdom of Avalon, and Guns of Glory, so I will be able to cover most of it, and I'll be able to show you guys all the stuff that I'm not exactly sure what's going on with it, so stay tuned for that. If you like today's video, please like and subscribe, and...
put some comments down there of anything that you guys have questions on. Find me on Discord on the Guns of Glory channel. Um, I'm on there in the general section a lot. So if you want to find me in there, ask me questions there, go ahead and do that. And I will be making my own Discord room. I keep talking about it. I need to do it. But I will have a link for that soon. And then follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you guys want updates when my videos go up. So thank you. Like I said, like, subscribe. Have a good day.